The next two weeks will go a long way in determining the balance of the AFC West. Back-to-back -back division games loom for the Chiefs at Oakland and versus San Diego on Monday Night Football, giving Kansas City real opportunity to fight back into this division hunt. Just three weeks ago, discussing Kansas City's division chances after an 0-3 start would have put you on another planet. The Chiefs are still trying to dig out of the hole created from weeks one through three, but there's finally a glimmer of light shining through. The Chiefs are in catch-up mode, trailing both Oakland and San Diego by more than a game, but playing each of those teams in consecutive weeks offers a chance to expedite the push to get back in the division race. Likewise, poor performances in these two games will sink the Chiefs into an even deeper hole. Either way, we're going to learn a lot more about how this AFC West race will look come November. First up in this critical two-game stretch is Oakland, the only division opponent to sweep Kansas City last season. The Raiders are emotionally charged and focused following the death of legendary owner Al Davis, and they appear to be playing the best football of anyone in the division at the current moment. Like the Chiefs, Oakland is riding a two-game win streak. Their only losses this season have come against two of the better teams in the AFC, New England and Buffalo. With the Chiefs looking to get back in the division race and Oakland looking to put last year's division champion away, Rivalry Week has once again been restored. While the Chiefs set idle last week, the Raiders suffered an injury that leaves their offense in an unstable state. Starting quarterback Jason Campbell was lost for the season with a broken collarbone in last Sunday's 24-17 victory over Cleveland. The loss of Campbell is significant. He was playing as good a football as he has at any time in his career. Averaging 160 yards per game, the Oakland rushing attack was already a bear to prepare for. Now, corralling running backs Darren McFadden and Michael Bush becomes an even bigger priority with Oakland's fluid situation under center. There was much debate last week whether it was the right time for the Chiefs to go through a bye. Well, it's not debatable because it's not controllable. What the Chiefs did receive was two weeks to prepare for what is the biggest game of the season thus far and against an arch rival, no less. If the Chiefs can get a win in Oakland and get back to that 500 mark, they'll have successfully hit the reset button on a September to forget.